Having said, I don't think God will intervene and save us. I do believe God is working very hard within us and uh, within, within those who are sensitive and responsive to his call. I like to think that's what Christians are, though not everybody who labels himself or herself that way seems to me especially responsive to what I understand to be to be God's call. So, um, no, I think we are forbidden to despair. We must live by hope, but hope is not uh, that we have, that we know there is a guaranteed good outcome. It is that we see possibilities and uh, we feel called in the direction of those possibilities. And since I began to to really worry about the future of the planet in 1969, the past uh, 40 years have been disappointing to me. That doesn't mean there hasn't been a great deal of change and progress, but it has only been the change and progress that could be made without sacrifice or um, major disruption and the most powerful forces on the, in the world have continued to move for, toward political imperialism and economic colonial, colonialism and the concentration of wealth in a few hands and all of these things make it more difficult for, for the human course of action to be changed. So it has not been, there, there are many bright spots and I try to concentrate upon them. And right at the moment there is, it, it's hard to say whether, I mean, it may be that the only hope for humanity is a radical collapse of what we have invested ourselves in. And the I won't say that I'm hoping for a total financial collapse, but I'm saying that may very well be the most promising thing that could happen because I think the financialization of the economy has moved us in exactly the wrong way. Uh, it has meant that a great many people spend their time making money in a way that is utterly remote from the realities of the physical world that we are all dependent upon. So whether there is any possibility of a easy and comfortable transition to a sustainable world, I'm not sure. If there is, let's hope for that. But it may be that it will take, uh, that we will that, that our efforts to do other things will have to dramatically fail before we'd be willing to to restructure our lives in a way that will leave a world for our grandchildren to, is habitable for them. And uh, I think that the more thought has been given to these matters, the more people have some image of what a sustainable world would be like. Uh, and the more local experiments and sustainable living and sustainable social order and so forth take place, and the more people realize that happiness is not a function of material goods beyond the necessities, the, the better the chances that the response to crises could be positive. Thus far, almost always our response is Two major crises have made things worse. So, uh, crisis by itself is <laughs> does not mean progress, it, but it can. Crises are also opportunities.